Disorder. Chaos. A state of uproar. For over a century, this game has divided the homes of Oklahoma. Welcome to Bedlam. off at the top of the show that it will be Mason Rudolph. Give us three things we need to know. Well, yeah, Mason Rudolph, his first start a couple weeks ago against Baylor, played well, 280 yards and two touchdowns through the air, but he's going to have to do more than that today in the Bedlam game. He's going to be looking for another true freshman, James Washington, who's emerged as the top wide receiver for Oklahoma State. This young man has a lot of potential, and if they're going to do it against this Oklahoma defense, it's going to be through the air. Against the run, they're 11th in the FBF, FBS against the rush, but through the air 114th against the pass Rudolph to throw for the first time steps away from the pressure heaves one dangerously that finds Washington the freshman Thomas took a chance couldn't come up with it and Washington made him pay for 25 yards close to midfield boy what movement in the pocket by Mason Rudolph there had a guy coming coming free right up the middle slides to the side finds his receiver you said it made a little bit of a dangerous throw out to James Washington there but you'll see it Rudolph has a guy come screaming free right up the middle slides to the side gets the ball out nice job by the freshman Oklahoma State offense since 2005. Remember Rudolph against Baylor two weeks ago led him to 28 points. They hadn't scored more than one offensive touchdown in the previous four games. Well, <laughs> a lot of things contribute to that. Dax Garman has been receiving a lot of the criticism, but look, he's had no chance to throw the football this year. The offensive line has been, I guess, porous to say the very least. Mason Rudolph coming in fresh. Just, just a, a spark he's been able to provide. Second and ten. Rudolph pulls it and then gets it out to Hill. He makes one man miss and the speedster breaking back to the inside for a first down. Anytime you talk to a defensive coordinator that's getting ready to face Oklahoma State, the first name he brings up, Tyree Kill. From the 29, they fake to Glidden. Rudolph has a man over the middle. First down and goal. It's Jeremy Seaton. The junior with his seventh catch of the season for 26. The true freshman Rudolph on first down and 10. Will throw over the middle and wide open is his tight end Jeremy Seaton. His second reception goes for 19 in Oklahoma territory. And Joe, Jeremy Seaton was completely uncovered. The play action by Mason Rudolph in the backfield drew up the Oklahoma linebackers to the point where, May, or excuse me, Jeremy Seaton just ran right by him. Nobody around him. Great play action by Rudolph. From the 35. They fake it to Roland. And to the short side, they go for Shepard, close to a first down against Jordan Thomas, second leading receiver for the Cowboys, having a career year. Had only 15 catches over his first two seasons combined. That's catch number 28. Here at the on for three, four, five, six every time he carries the ball. Washington, one on one. And the defense rallies. Sanchez does a nice job to hold his ground. Begins from the 25 in the fog here in Norman. And a jet sweep play to Tyree Kill. Oklahoma was ready. Eric Stryker drops in for no game. Second and ten. They fake to Rowling. Throw the slant. Pulled in by Shepard. He makes a move and gets to the 49. Brandon Shepard had a 39-yard touchdown catch in the first half. He's got 25 here. Joe, I cannot tell you how impressed I am with Mason Rudolph. You're going to see the route by Shepard here coming in. What you didn't see was the anticipation and the release of Mason Rudolph. That ball was gone so that when Brandon Shepard made his break, two steps out of it, the ball hits him right in the face mask. Great job by the quarterback Rudolph getting it out on time and a great setup on the route by Brandon Shepard. Four-man twist picked up. Rudolph trying to buy time. Stays on his feet, will take off across midfield. Excellent athleticism from the former high school tight end, who is 6'4", 215 as a load, but First the rest of the year, Mike Pereira, they were the only team in the country without a fumble recovery. Play action off of the fake. 
They get it outside to Jeremy Seaton. The tight end carries it across the 35, stopped by Jordan Evans. Oklahoma State with a chance to take the momentum back with their first fumble recovery of the year. Fake to rolling down the seam, back shoulder for Seaton, who breaks a tackle across the 35, but a flag down back at the line of scrimmage. But I know that part of this is the situation that you've been put in, but Coach Mike Gundy is showing a lot of confidence in Mason Rudolph, a true freshman on the road, making only his second start. They've come out this second half and been firing the football down the field. He's done a really nice job, 13 to 22, 170 yards and a touchdown so far, but showing a lot of confidence in his young quarterback, Mike Gundy. Close to an impossible situation for a quarterback of any age here. Third down, 15. Get it outside the hill. It's a couple of blocks. But then a nice job by Sanchez to shed his. Stephen Parker there as well. And Oklahoma State's punt team will come out. Cowboys unable to take advantage What's of that. It's going to take for this Oklahoma State offense to add some points on the board. They've got to stop shooting themselves in the foot. I mean, they were moving the ball on their last drive. And the ineligible man downfield took away a huge pass the play. Oklahoma State offense, which scored on its first drive, impressive for a good chunk of the first half, has been shut down lately. Well, Joe, you said it to me just a second ago. Oklahoma State had two touchdowns that they didn't take advantage of in that third quarter. The pass up the sideline to Glidden, and then the slant to Washington. Neither of those balls were caught. Oklahoma State has to take advantage of the opportunities they have. I mean, they're, they're giving this game to Oklahoma right now. Bottom line, make a play, and you're not down two touchdowns. The freshman calmly throws outside. And a first down gain of eight for Brandon Shepard against Jordan Thomas. Rudolph at his second start. Efficient once again, hasn't turned the ball over. 14 of 25 through the air for 173. The true freshman of the Rock Hill, South Carolina. Fake to Roland. Glidden open over the middle. He makes a play for a first down to the 49. Great anticipation from the freshman. Nice job by Rudolph waiting for Glidden to get to the second window. And then just like you said, he anticipated it. The, deep, the linebacker for Oklahoma is going to settle right under that first window. So he waits for him to get in releases the ball before he gets to the second defender, Dominic Alexander. Nice job by Mason Rudolph getting the ball right where David Glidden needed it. Tyree Kill in the backfield. He'll take it. Penetration, but he breaks through. And Hill with a speed explodes inside the 30. It's a run of 32 yards. Got tripped up at the last moment to save the touchdown. Joe, this young man is electric. Tyreek Hill, if you give him any space at all, he will make you pay. Just a shoelace away from breaking that for a touchdown. This is the moment momentum that Oklahoma State needs. They need a score right here. They need a touchdown to get back into this ball game. First down from the 26. Rudolph looking backside and has a completion down to the 10. First down, once again, it's Shepard working against Thomas. Really surprised. They are leaving single coverage outside on the wide receivers is Oklahoma. They're, they're daring Mason Rudolph to throw this football, and frankly, I think he's shown the ability to do so. 16 for 28 for 200 yards and a touchdown so far. This true freshman is showing me. They call it first and goal. It's a trick play. Shepard's got it. A block from Rudolph. Inside the five. Second and goal. Mason Rudolph trying to join the ranks of Josh Fields. The last time there were three touchdown underdogs. Came into Norman and a true freshman in the form of Josh Fields. Came into the game in the second quarter. Led him to a win. Three touchdown underdogs again today. Back within seven with the ball inside of four minutes.
They fake it to Hill. Rudolph, all kinds of time. Held on to it too long and goes down at the 25. Devontae Bond got there with Juka and Dudaway. Second and 12. And Joe, again, great coverage down the field by the Oklahoma secondary, forcing Mason Rudolph to hold on to that football longer than he wanted to. No timeouts left for the Cowboys. Rudolph over the middle, wide open is Jarwin, but he dropped it. Wow. What a perfect throw. Oh, and there it is. Just getting his fingertips on it is Dominic Alexander. Again with a minute one. Tyree Kill back at his own 11. This time they set up the return. Well, that sends a good one. Kill has it. Tyree Kill with speed. Breaks through. Kill with the speed. Look out. This is Bedlam. Ben Grogan has to hit this to tie it at 35. Out of the hold of Kip Smith. Low snap, picked up and put through. Caleb Smith bounced the snap back. Kip Smith picked it up and put it down for the game tying extra point. 35 all with 45 seconds. The clock running, one timeout left for Oklahoma. Joe, I'm, su I'm surprised Coach Stoops isn't using this timeout. Well, with it being fourth down, why not use it now? He won't use it at all. The game clock expired before the snap. That's the end of regulation. So Bob Stoops, instead of using that timeout for one last heave to the end zone, will... Play for fifth year senior from Richardson, Texas, Michael Honeycutt. 75 career made field goals, a Big 12 record. Attempts this from 44, which would match his season long. And he hooked it. No good. Anything will do for Oklahoma State now. Oklahoma State's kicker has a long of 47. They're already within that range. Desmond Roland in the game at running back. In front of the freshman Rudolph. Gains a yard inside the 25. If I'm Mike Gundy, I ask my kicker which hash you like the ball on, and I run the ball two more times and set him up for that game-winning field goal. Roland again inside the 20. Third down. Third down and four. Roland to tailback. Roland breaks the tackle. First down inside the 15, and they're turning it into a chip shot for Grogan. From the 11, first down, back to Roland. Powering his way to the five. Fighting forward to the three, and it's second down. Second down and two from the three. Roland again. Third down now. Jordan Evans makes the tackle. Bergen has not attempted a field goal since October. Basically an extra point. Out of the hold of Kip Smith. Rogan hits it. Oklahoma State saves its season with an overtime win in Bedlam.
run. They lose five straight to go on the road to their in-state rivals and win a huge game that nobody expected. What a great job by Coach Mike Gundy and his football team. Let's go down to Chris Budden, who's in the middle of that mess with Mike Gundy. Well, Coach, just another usual bedlam game for you guys. You become bowl eligible. You end the season with this win. What does it mean for you? Well, I'm really happy for the players. They put a lot into this. You know, there's a lot of talk about this game, but the preparation just has to be just like any other game. The kids played their butt off, and they never gave up, so I'm really proud of them. If anyone here knows what it's like to play as a true freshman in Bedlam, it would be you. Knowing that, what did Mason Rudolph prove to you out there today? Well, he, he competed, you know. He wanted to throw the ball out here at the end on third down, and... I told him he's somewhat lost his mind, but he competes, you know. The guy likes to play the game, and everybody really, you know, you can't say enough about our defense getting a couple big stops. And then obviously with Tyreek there at the end, you know, he just kind of wheeled his way to the end zone. I appreciate it. Congratulations, okay. Coach. Joe? All right, Chris, the Academy Sports and Outdoors Right Stuff player of the game. Could have been a number of guys. We'll give it to Ben Grogan with a game-winning field goal from 21 yards. Wow. He's out of his mind, is what Coach Gundy said. He yeah. wanted to throw it on third down. Well, sometimes you got to be a little bit out of your mind to go on the road as a true freshman and throw for 273 yards and two touchdowns and help your heavy underdog teammates win on the road. A three-touchdown underdog for the first time since they came here to Norman and won in 2001. Oklahoma State is bowl eligible with an overtime miraculous win in Bedlam.